voice do you lend to healing your community? What voice mm -hmm. do I lend mm -hmm. to heal my community? Mm -hmm. Can you rephrase that question? Sure. How do you heal your community? You know, because I believe that in order to heal a community, you have to assume a voice. So what voice do you use to heal your community? I look at myself as more of a counselor, a person that provides support and an ear and to not be very judgmental. And it's difficult because naturally I really like to judge people when I'm into sales. I'm from a city where you got to be a good judge of character and know how to sort and separate bullshit and people to, to determine how you're going to move forward. But when you're dealing with healing, you have to put a lot of that to, to the side. You got to take a lot of your ego out. I strive to, one, heal myself by, um, you know, self-love, but humbling myself to a point where I realize we're all flawed and we all are like in this insane asylum. Everybody's crazy or hurt to some extent and the moment I think that I'm not crazy that's when I'm probably at my craziest when I think that I'm better and different than everybody so I try to remind myself that and to be a supporter and that's what I think leadership is about I think leadership is really about being a servant if we look at leaders of the world the Pope if we look at the president of the United States during the crisis, these are people that go around the, the world and they speak to their communities and they provide comfort. They provide a sense of everything's going to be okay. In addition to, all right, we're going to execute. You have to adapt because it depends on the situation you're in. Because on one point, you can be a counselor and you can be supportive. But there's also times when you got to take action. Relentless. It's like you have peacetime and you got wartime. There's times when you can't be so confident.